What is up guys, welcome back. Today I wanna to take a look at this animation right here. It's a scroll transition perspective type of animation. And I first saw it inside of the Flow Party website and now I'm seeing it everywhere. And I think it's a really simple yet creative animation. And yeah, I wanna take a look at how we can make this using React and from Motion. And as always, you can find the live demo and the source code in the description below. All right, guys, so I have the starting project here, a very basic Next.js application, and I've just done the layout just to save some time. And what I have here is basically two sections, section one, section two, and they just have some very basic styling. And I've also initialized here a smooth scroll using the Linus scroll. And so with that, we have something like this, very simple, a full screen image and just a landing section. They both take 100 viewport height. So that's basically the start of the project. And if I look at the demo here, let's take a look at the demo, we can see that for the animation to work, we need to have this first section here. It needs to be fixed, right? It needs to be sticky on the screen, and then we're gonna rotate it and then scale it down to have this effect. Right now, all we have is just two simple transitions. So the first thing we need to do is to fix that first section to the screen so that the other one can overlap on top of it. So to do that, all we have to do is change the styling a bit and use the position sticky. So here in my main container, I'm gonna specify a certain height. So I'm gonna specify a 200 viewport height for the main container. And right now in my first container, I have 100 viewport height. And in my second container, I have 100 viewport height as well. So both of them together, they do 200 viewport height. And the reason why I specify the height here is so that I can after here do sticky and top zero. And that means that my first section here is gonna be sticky starting at the top zero for the entirety of the height of its parent. So I'm gonna save that and let's see what we have. And now the section is sticky, right? Very simple. And it's already a good start to create the animation. Now, all we have to do is hook the scroll to those two sections and create some transformations. So to do that, what I like to do is use the use scroll hook by firm motion. So that use scroll hook is gonna give us the scroll Y progress, which is a value between zero and one based on the progression of the scroll. So here it's gonna be the use scroll. And then I need to give it a target and that target needs to be a ref. So I'm gonna do cons container. It's gonna be equal to a ref. And then that container is basically the target of that use scroll. And so which section do I want to listen to its scroll progress. Well, I'm gonna to listen to the parent here, which has a height of 200 viewport height. So I'm gonna do ref container. And then I need to specify another thing here is the offset. And this is two pairs of values, basically saying, where do we want to start tracking the scroll? And when do we want to stop tracking the scroll? So it's gonna be start, start, meaning the start of the container and the start of the window. That's gonna be the first value here, start, start which is where I want to start tracking. It's right at the start, right? Because right at the start, I'm gonna start changing the values to those sections. And then the last pair is when do I want to stop tracking the scroll? That's gonna be at the end completely here, which would be the end of the container and the end of the window, which is the point here at the bottom. So that's gonna be end, end. And so with that, we have a nice value between zero and one that tracks the entirety of our page here. And then I'm just gonna give that scroll to those two containers here. And so now both of my sections have access to the progress here, and I can start using that progress to start changing the values of the container. I'm gonna start with the first one here. What do I wanna change to have this specific effect? And it's gonna be basically a scale down and a rotation. So I'm gonna start by creating a scale value. So I'm gonna have const scale. That's gonna be equal to the use transform hook. It's a hook that I like to use. It's very similar to the map function, the math.map, not like the array.map, if you know that function. It's very similar. It basically takes a value. So I'm gonna do scroll wide progress, the value that I want to transform. And now I need to map the range of that value. And I'm gonna use the whole range of it. So between zero and one is the whole range that this value can take. And then I wanna transform it between two other values. So when the scroll wide progress is at zero, I'm gonna want my scale to be at one. And then when my scroll progress is at one, then I'm gonna want my, my scale to be at 0 0.8. So that basically means I'm reducing my scale by 20% based on the progress of the scroll, right? And now I can simply use that scale here as a style. And then I need to add the motion tag in front of the div 
so that way the scale here can be understood by react right because right now the scale here it's not a number it's simply a motion value so we need to add the motion tag here so that it's understood and yeah we can save that see if that works okay i need to import motion here from from motion and let's see if that works i'm going to scroll and here you can see that the first section is scaling down as i'm scrolling right which is really nice and also here there's another important component in my opinion for this animation and it's the background color here you can see that it's gray and where you could set that is for example inside of the globals in the body that's where i've set the color but you could change it and put it like like a neon green for example but that's a bit ugly for now i think the gray looks good or something like a black too could look really good something like that right just to emphasize the fact that it's scaling down i think adding a background color that's not the normal color adds like an extra touch so now i've added the scale and all I need to do is add the rotation. So it's gonna be the same thing, but now it's gonna be a rotate value. Same thing, I'm gonna transform that value here. It's a value between zero and one. And then for the rotation, I'm gonna do maybe minus 10 at first. No, 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 I'm gonna do zero at first and then minus 10, right? So not rotated at first. And as we scroll, it's gonna scale down and rotate, right? And then I can just grab the rotate value here, put it here as a style, save that. And here you can see that I am now scaling down and rotating as I'm scrolling. But for me, I think it's rotating a bit too much. I'm gonna do minus five just for the aesthetic. And yeah, it's, just, it's a bit more subtle. I prefer that. And we could even leave it at that. I think it looks great, but we can even add the same thing, but to the second section. So I'm just gonna copy paste that, copy the scale and the rotate, put it for the second section, which is the section with the full background image. And here it's gonna be the reverse, right? It's gonna be scaled down at first. And so 0 0.8 to one. So scaled down first, and then it's gonna grow as we scroll. And same thing for the rotation. I'm gonna have minus five at first to zero. So a bit crooked at first, and then it's gonna go straight up. And same thing, I grab the motion tag, put it in front of the div, and then I can add my styling, scale, rotate, save that. And let's see what we have. I'm gonna scroll and boom we should have something like this. So now you can see that this one is rotating and fading away, and then the other one is appearing. It's a bit crooked at first, and then boom. And I think that looks really nice. So that was it for this tutorial. Very simple animation. We did that in like 10, 5, 10 minutes. So really nice animation for the time that it takes and like the technical complexity behind it. It's really minimum, but I think it's a super creative uh, animation. So yeah, if you liked it, if you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.